Good morning, welcome to Harpist in Japan. My name is Lisa, and if you're traveling to Japan in May, specifically on May the 8th or afterwards, then you do not have to present a vaccination certificate or a negative test anymore. Yes, the COVID requirements are scrapped. Japan entry returns to normal in May. Please note that this update only comes into effect on the 8th of May. So I know a lot of you are traveling to Japan this month in April. So if that doesn't apply to you. You will need to look at the previous video where I specifically talk about traveling to Japan in April because there is another update that's just April specific. As you can see here on Visit Japan Web, there's an update that rolled out just on April the 5th and it's about procedures upon arrival. And I've also documented that as well. So please check that video out. Now, back to the update about the government scrapping the COVID border controls. Earlier, the government announced that by May the 8th, they would downgrade COVID to the same level as the seasonal flu. So on this same day, the border controls have all been scrapped. You do not need a vaccination certificate. You do not need to provide negative tests. Now, so far, the update only mentions that part. So anything else regarding uh, which countries can enter Japan, how to do the visa, uh, those don't have any changes yet. So depending on where you're from, you still need to look into that yourself. As to Visit Japan Web, do you still need it or not? Well, that's the thing. Visit Japan Web isn't just for COVID. There are three parts to Visit Japan Web. Now, the first part is border control quarantine related. So I think that part won't be there anymore after May the 8th. But the second and third part is immigration clearance and customs declaration. Now, these have always existed for entering Japan. So you're going to need to fill out those information anyways. You can always do that physically uh, on paper, but this is a fast track. So it means it gets you out of the airport quicker so you can go enjoy Japan sooner. That's why I think Visit Japan will, will be sticking around. I personally think it's quite convenient. You can get through the airport really fast. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Japan has closed its doors to pretty much the rest of the world since implementing tight border controls in 2020. Finally, after almost three years, the Japanese government slowly started letting registered tour groups in. And then at the end of October, Japan finally opened its borders to travelers, but with strict border measures requiring vaccination and tests. It would be almost six months by May when this measure is scrapped. With the downgrading to the same level as the seasonal flu. And in March, the government also relaxed mask rules which have never been a law at any point in time. It's always been people's choice. How much has Japan changed exactly? Most of the people in Japan are still wearing a mask, particularly in crowded stations and inside trains. The government does still recommend to wear a mask on public transport when it is congested, but the choice is entirely up to the people. Outdoor areas are definitely more relaxed with less people wearing masks like at this park last week during cherry blossom season. You can see here there are some that still prefer to keep it on. Although the government relaxed the mask recommendation since March, people seem to need a bit more time to get used to ditching the mask entirely, which is very understandable considering it has become pretty much an ingrained habit for the past three years. Either way, we do see Japan slowly moving back to normal, there are a lot more visitors and the popular destinations are just as crowded as before 2020. So this is really great news overall for everyone. So if you're wondering what Japan looks like, whether people are still wearing masks or not, you can refer to the previous video, which was uploaded just yesterday. And that shows what people are doing indoors and outdoors with or without a mask. Um, it is during the spring cherry blossom season, a very recent, like last week. I know this is a very brief short video. I originally intended this video to be done together with something a bit more detailed, but since I posted the April travel video yesterday, there has been a small number of people who got a little bit confused why I wasn't talking about May in a video about April. So I hope this video clears up some of the confusion. So in summary, from the 8th of May, 
onwards, no more vaccination paper, no more negative test. But from now, which is April until 7th of May, inclusive, you still need to provide the vaccination papers and the negative papers. So yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely trip. Please stay tuned for the hidden Kyoto places coming out this Saturday. I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Harvest in Japan. My name is Lisa and I'll see you soon. Bye!